would have to be a baseball player to understand it. It creates a whole new feel to a baseball when it's put on a baseball. It's aging like wine. The players coined the name Magic Mind. They had tried tobacco juice, they had tried shoe polish, they had tried just regular dirt from the infield. All those things damaged the leather cover. Lena was a manager with Philadelphia Athletics. He knew of the mud from when he was a kid where he used to go fishing and swimming and started experimenting with it, showing the umpires and they came up with the magic mud. From that point on, it went team to team, word spread. That's the root of the, of the mud. Officially, it started in the American League in 1939. Lena Blackburn and my grandfather, John Haas, were childhood friends. And when Lena started harvesting the mud, he worked with my grandfather. When Lena got too old to do it any longer, he passed it to my grandfather. My grandfather turned it over to his only child, my mother. I've been doing it since I was a kid. 1965 is the first time I ever went out to harvest mud. I was about 15 years old. My mother looked at me and said, you're gonna get the mud. I had fun doing it. We would go on the boat, make a day of it, go water skiing and have lunch on the sandbar, and then we'd go dig mud. It was always something special to me. Whoever is preparing the balls, they'll take a, a couple drops of water get their palm wet, then they just, a tiny bit of mud, and they water it down. And this is all they do. All the majors, all the minors, I have about half the NFL uses it on football. I get a trash can in a day. Once it settles out, I lose probably a third of it is water. And this is the cons consistency, I like it. The mineral content of where I get it, it's unique to South Jersey. The main mineral that makes the difference is called felspar. Felspar is in the clay family. If you look at it under a microscope, it looks like shattered glass. It's just enough to buff the slippery coating off the ball. It's fine enough that it doesn't scratch the leather. It's a, a, a tributary of the Delaware in South Jersey. That's as precise as I get. The people who need to know, know. I'll wait a few days, I'll let the mud settle. A couple days later, I'll pour the water off, get rid of as much river water as I can. I'll replace that with tap water, mix it up, pour it through the screen, repeat that 10 or 20 times. My wife hates me for this, but my retirement plan is I'm gonna retire when I can't do it anymore. I'm pretty proud of the, the fact that, that our family has, has been been with it all this time.